Hey you guys, Aaron Dusty and Mr. Max here and <laughs> welcome to Eat Move Rest. Yes, so today we are enjoying what hopefully isn't the end of our <laughs> super nice weather that we've had this September. It's almost October and it's super nice out. So anyway, we are soaking up the sun and we thought we'd take a minute to catch up on our retreat from last year from Costa Rica. We've had a few people ask and it's time for us to get some of that footage to you guys. Any ideas? So Costa Rica 2019 was a blast epic to say the <laughs> least yep. and we had a three month old with us and i don't know how this we even guy. pulled it off i will say a big thank you to grandma my yes. mom who <laughs> accompanied us oh my gosh she was a godsend it was it was just so much fun but to be honest it was really like having 15 plus babysitters because <laughs> max was such a doll and right. everyone just wanted to hold him and cuddle him so it turned out to be great <laughs> right so we you guys are probably like what are the details like tell us more about the retreat so the farm is located about four hours outside of san jose so you fly we flew into san jose we all stayed one night in a b and b there and then we drive like two hours to the beach and then another two hours to the farm the first day was like an epic start yeah. honestly the first night i was the first person to cry <laughs> it, it, we started with a bonfire and it was just epic like we don't want to give away too much but we want to show you guys, like I said, with some with some footage and tell you guys a little bit just about how life-changing it really was. Yeah, it was so awesome. And let me just say that we had no idea what we were getting into. No. Like Brian and Jody, who own Farm of Life and yep. run all of the retreats, basically put all of their faith, all of their trust in us to round up a bunch of you guys <laughs> to come with us. And they said, we believe in you guys, yep. you got this. Yep. We didn't believe in ourselves at all. <laughs> we didn't, we had never been there, but had always dreamt of going to Farm of Life. So it was just a dream come true yep. to not only get to go there, but to get to bring a bunch of you guys with. Right. So our group was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So besides the farm being amazing, the food being beyond amazing, the beach, the waterfalls, the hiking, everything that we did, what made the trip what it was, was our group of people. We had like, what, 15 or 16 individuals from around the nation. A couple of friends came from Hawaii, from the East Coast. We had people from all over. Yeah, there were couples, and then there were some people that came by themselves, so yep. there was a good mix. Yep. And there were all age ranges, and like Dusty said, from all different states. So it was such an eclectic mix of people, yeah. which really made for like interesting conversations. Because <laughs> yeah. we were from all walks of life. Yep. Some were beginners and had no idea what plant-based eating was and yeah. their minds were totally blown. And then some <laughs> were kind of already trekking along on the lifestyle, their whole families were on board. Yep. So yeah, there was a, a great mix of people. We thought, you know, this is gonna be a great opportunity for us to meet people, to connect with our followers, and it has been. 
We've continued yeah. to stay friends with yeah. the people that we went on the retreat with. No joke. I was, I've been texting two of them today. Yeah. And like, the coolest part is they're friends with each other too. Like right. without us having to like mediate things. I mean, a couple of our friends that actually live here in Lincoln that came on the retreat, yeah. went down and visited another retreat attendee down in Texas where she just moved to. Yep. And she also hosted a retreat here. So yep. to see, everybody staying in touch and supporting each other's endeavors has been awesome yeah. and then another girl from the retreat yeah she was like you guys have to hold me accountable i want to travel Steph. the world yeah all by myself <laughs> and she did it she was sending us pictures from greece right she sent us photos and again i think it was the people that she met on the retreat and the the bonds that we built and just the inspiration that was that was made it's yeah. it's hard to travel the i just think that the coolest thing was the dynamic of the whole group what would you say was like your favorite thing we did honestly i it think was it was all. just i think it was probably just talking like yeah. hanging out and talking so we hiked we jumped waterfalls we did all these things we swam in the pool there's a pool on the property that's like so nice it's i think chemical it's chemical free lap pool chemical free <laughs> lap pool like super nice but we're looking like the rainforest <laughs> yeah seriously but i think the most fun thing was every night after dinner we just would sit and kind of hang out aaron and i would lead a little eat move rest type of talk but it usually just ended up being discussion like what are you what are your thoughts on this or what do you guys think and mm -hmm. what what do you think going forward and how, how has this changed you? And just the conversations that we had were just amazing. And yeah, yeah we had tears, we had laughter. It was just, it was more than I thought that it was gonna be. Why don't you ask me what I love most? Okay. <laughs> so what did you love most? My list is lengthy, but I really, really loved when Brian gave us a tour of the whole farm property. Yeah. Farm of Life itself is like completely self-sustaining. They have their own like, wellspring of water that's like pure and p perfectly ph balanced pouring through the shower heads in your room and out of the faucet and they have a coconut hut where you can crack open however many coconuts you want to drink on demand and the banana shack so you can eat bananas and coconuts non-stop and then he showed us all of the different trees all of the different fruiting plants on the property they had a garden, so he showed us all of the medicinal plants that can be used in different ways, and we got to munch on all these different herbs and leaves, and I think that was my favorite part, was just that seeing was. how you can actually live off of the land somewhere like that. Yeah, and speaking of living off the land, so the food at the retreat was so amazing. We have the ability to kind of create the meal plan, Yeah. and that being said, there are chefs that are going to create a gourmet experience no matter what we have on the menu but right. one thing's for sure it will be tons of juices tons of smoothies yep. smoothie bowls yogurts granolas parfaits tons of fresh tropical ripe juicy fruit right so, so another aspect that i really loved was the morning yoga practice oh, just yeah. because we hadn't done yoga in so long but getting ourselves up to do it every day even though it was optional we're like we're gonna do everything on this retreat we've got to mm -hmm. um getting up and actually bringing ourselves to the mat every morning was like the best thing ever and right. now anytime i'm like sitting at home stretching after a workout like i take myself back to that yoga platform oh, yeah. overlooking the rainforest it was just so otherworldly it was awesome and the sounds it's like Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of the jungle and yeah. and sitting yeah sitting there doing yoga and qigong like things that i've never really done before but always kind of wanted to learn about yeah we, we got to do a little bit of everything and and it was so so cool and so powerful you just felt the energy there oh, for sure
Yeah, what else? Um, it's super action packed, which we were nervous about with yeah. Max, but it can be as adventurous or as relaxing as you want to make it to be because yeah. everything is totally optional. So there were a few strenuous hikes or maybe just days where someone felt kind of like, maybe I just want to lay by the lap pool today or get yeah. a massage from the massage therapist yep. or just hang out on the property and literally veg out. So it's nice to have the ability to kind of make the retreat whatever it is that you need. This is just insanity. This is the day long hike. So it's been a few hours already and we've got a few hours to go. I'm literally standing underneath the waterfall. It's super dry this year. So it hasn't been as wet as it usually is. Usually this is just a gusher, but we hiked to the top where we could jump off. It was like 20 some feet. We all said we, we're gonna call it 30 feet and that was cool, everybody did that. So we're just having a blast. We packed the lunch, super long day hike. Aaron and Max and grandma stayed at home or back at the retreat center. So they're having their own little um, day there. I don't think Max could have uh, kept up today. <laughs> but anyway, having a blast. Thanking the Lord for this beauty and this opportunity with these amazing people. So much fun. So not only is travel super important to us, we also <laughs> love documenting our adventures. So photography, videography, all of the above, starting a blog and a website. Something we've always been passionate about is putting the pieces together in a creative way. So we are by no means professionals, but we have managed to educate ourselves by a few online resources that have really helped us out. So Skillshare is one of those platforms that Aaron is talking about. In one of our past videos, we extended this offer and we wanted to do it again for you guys. So Skillshare is basically an online learning community where you can learn whatever it is that you think you might be interested in. So it's courses, classes, whether it's photo and video or knitting or rollerblading, like seriously, I think you can learn just about anything <laughs> how on to budget, Skillshare. How to travel, right. how to take travel photography and yeah. videography, great drone footage, yes. you name it, they've got it. <laughs> So again, we are gonna extend this offer that we previously ran to you guys. So to click the link in the description below are going to receive two free months of Skillshare. So right. you can check out all the videos to your heart's desire. Life is crazy busy and yes. Ain't no way we're gonna go sit in a classroom and pay a bunch of money. <laughs> no, not with this loud boy. He does not ever stop. So if you guys are interested in the Costa Rica retreat, for real, click that link because we've only got just a few spots left. I'm not even sure. It yeah. might just be on one single hand. I think we've but got about five spots left. That being said, if you guys are interested in us hosting more retreats around the world, let us know in the comments. And yep. also here in the US, we would love the idea of hosting maybe a four or five day retreat somewhere like Sedona, maybe in California somewhere. Yep. Throw us out some ideas. We wanna know and kind of gauge your interest because yep. we are definitely looking. Again, Brian and Jody have been doing this for years. It takes a lot of pressure off of Aaron and I, so we are freed up to be with you guys. It's mm -hmm. not so much that we're hosting this retreat or even teaching or speaking. We're like there with you guys. So again, if you guys want to get to know us, get to know Max <laughs> and get to know Costa Rica, this is the perfect thing for you. So okay. if you guys like this video, you know the drill, give it a thumbs up, follow Aaron and I on all forms of social media. If you're not already, comment below. It just helps to build our community here, get to know people. We answer literally like 99%. <laughs> we are like crazy trying to keep up. And when I say we, I mean Aaron. She's just like always on the comments. So comment below, share the video with friends and family, anybody that you think might be into our message, what we're doing, or the retreat. And don't forget to click the link for Skillshare because a two month free offer, like you can't pass that up. So <laughs> click the link for Skillshare, follow us, stay in touch, sign up for the retreat and worst case, just reach out. We can answer questions. If you're not sure, we'll answer questions. Yeah. And we yeah. love, we love our eat, move, rest fam. We love you guys. Seriously. Totally. I don't know how we got to where we're at. What are we at? More than 50K by now. I think we've probably hit 50,000 followers. And That's super exciting. Just a couple years ago, we were sitting in this very place recording <laughs> our first YouTube video. And 
Now we've got a child and... Never saw any of this coming, but we're really enjoying the ride. God is good and we're so excited and scared <laughs> and everything at the same time. And we know that everybody else is feeling what we're feeling and you have tons of questions about life and just ask us ask away and we we can't wait to connect with you guys in person because right. you might know our little family through the screen yeah. but we want to get to know all of you more so more retreats yep. more events max <laughs> is saying mom shut up oh boy eat, move. you guys know the drill eat move rest your best your best <laughs> bye say bye maxi Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys, we are at Peace Falls today. This place is just unbelievable. It's almost like your own private little Garden of Eden. We've got people hanging out in the waterfall. Everybody jumped a little cliff dive and just had a lunch of mangoes, some seeds, some nuts. I mean, just the best food. It's our last day, and we're actually all having a hard time. We don't want to go home gonna be tough it's gonna be tough for sure it's still March so it's winter time back home and we've made so many good friendships and connections and we love you all thank you all for all you guys that came on our first abroad Costa Rica retreat the eat move rest retreat we love you all thank you guys for coming we hope to do a reunion with all of our new friends and again Brian and Jody and all the crew at farm to farm of life thank you so so much I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, um, my name is Nina and I am from Milford, Connecticut, soon to be Dallas, Texas. And I just wanted to jump on here and say thank you from the bottom of my heart, Aaron and Dusty, um, for having this amazing retreat. This week has been absolutely life-changing. I'm sitting here at the yoga studio where I feel the most at peace and I wake up every morning here and I think to myself, is this real? Like, is this place that I'm waking up to and seeing the beautiful sunrise above the mountain and walking through all these beautiful, beautiful exotic flowers and gardens and I mean, this can't be real. I don't know, <laughs> but it is real, and I feel so fortunate to be able to be here and experience this with everyone, and um, I've really learned a lot about myself here. It's been absolutely life-changing, and I will take this forward with me. So thank you so much, and um, I appreciate you. I appreciate what you've done. Um, you guys are incredible. I do have one message for someone, and... Um, that would be Stephanie. Um, I just want to tell you that I want to get emotional now. You are strong. You are amazing. You're beautiful. And I have faith in you knowing that coming out of this, you are going to blossom. I know that you are someone who's going to change other people and your kind heart um, is what attracted me to you and um, I just want to say thank you. I really look forward to seeing you travel and I hope we keep in touch. So take care and I love you and I thought this retreat was going to be all about fruits and vegetables and taste the rainbow <laughs> in full disclosure and what I realized is it's so much more than that it's how much do I love myself to live my best life and if I love myself enough I'm going to put the right foods in my body to give myself energy and I'm gonna move my body to feel strong and feed my brain endorphins and I'm gonna get the right rest proper rest because I need to recharge I need to refuel and if I want to live my life to its fullest um, it takes all three and it's really more simple than than I ever thought. And I'm, I'm so happy I got to learn that lesson here. I'm so grateful.